you drinking, man? I drink every day. Welcome back, guys. We're the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And today, well, there's been a departure, Jake, from Wild Turkey, a celebrity, a pop culture celebrity. A pop culture celebrity. A pop culture, so pup, a pup culture. I have one of those. <laughs> you have a pack at your house. I Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> anyway, a pop culture celebrity known for creating his favorite bourbon at Wild Turkey, as of January 1st, will be departing the brand. That's right. All right. All right. All right. Matthew McConaughey will be parting ways with Wild Turkey and Campari um, as his contract is set to expire on January 1st of this year. And you said you found out that they're going to still make this, right, though? Yeah. Um, this was his idea, though, right? It was his idea. So I wonder if he's still going to get any oh. from the thing off that. Mm. There will be no contract, so we'll find out. But um, already I'm starting to see um, changes to this bottle, namely the label. Something you won't see now on Long Branch labels is uh, Matthew McConaughey's signature. I saw one today in a liquor store here in Evansville um, that only had Eddie Russell's signature on it. Already. Yeah. I mean, his contract's up, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, honestly, that's kind of shocking that they're just still going out that quick. Like, I figured. Oh, yeah. Well, the, figured... Brand's, the brand's not taking a break, just Matthew McConaughey's stepping back from Wild Turkey and but... Campari. It's not like this is a super popular product. Actually, it was very well received by critics. In Texas? Everywhere. No. Everyone enjoys it. I mean, it's an eight-year-old Kentucky bourbon um, put through the uh, mellow, charcoal mellowing process, famous for Tennessee whiskey, only using Texas mesquite. It's that Hank Hill bourbon. <laughs> if they would have used Mike Judge for this, I would have been probably so much more behind it. Well, I mean... It is what it is, but nonetheless, um, Matthew McConaughey leaving Wild Turkey, and a fun fact about this bottle, um, coming from our good friend, well, the Matt that's staying at Wild Turkey, yeah, we have a friend named Matt that's staying at Wild Turkey, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very cool. This bottle was actually originally intended to be used as the Kentucky Spirit single barrel bottle. And when Matthew saw the bottle shape, he said that's what he wants for Long Branch. So they, uh, they turned it into the Long Branch bottle, and uh, the Kentucky Spirit bottle that sits on the shelf now just shares a shape with Rare Breed and Rare Breed Rye. Sad I'm not times. mad. Yeah. I, honestly, I think the Kentucky Spirit would sell better if it was in a different bottle. It, it still sells. I mean, you, you see it sell. I still see it sell. I just don't see it sell. I think it would look a lot cooler breed. if it was in this bottle. For sure. So, yeah. Mm, that's... I mean, this bottle has been sitting here for a while. A while. Yeah. Um, Lo and behold, I'm not a huge fan of it, um, but just, Jake always like likes to things. make fun of me for it. I love making fun of you for it. And, you know, I like to walk down liquor shelves and make puns. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a pastime for me. You know, oh, you were talking about the brand's success. The funny thing is, the brand was actually so successful that um, Wild Turkey created a Long Branch ranch. That a Long could, B ranch. Yeah. <laughs> That visitors could stay at after they uh, they visited the oh, distillery. God, pretty cool, right? I don't know how I feel about that. I'd stay at it. Is there like a poster of Matthew McConaughey in the living room? And <laughs> I mean, there might be one. Just all like a the mural. Matthew McConaughey movies are free. Just a mural, a mural on the wall. That's it. There's of no him TV at just all. holding a TV where you can watch all of his movies for free. Jumping into a Lincoln. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but it's too easy sometimes. <laughs> Pop culture guy getting his kicks in on the whiskey episode, everyone. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to taste through this, uh, this lovely Wild Turkey Long Branch um, and actually let you know if we think you should purchase, pour, or pass this thing. Um, Keep in mind this thing has been good and aged at this point in the bottle. Yeah, well... You're not going to get this flavor as soon as you buy it. I'm just going to say that. I'll tell you this much. Open it, let it sit for a couple weeks, and then you There's not much of a cork course. pop on this thing either. That's kind of depressing. Squeak. Yeah. But, uh, you know. <sighs> you know, I'm not getting a lot of the mesquite wood that this is filtered through. I'm getting a lot more of that wild turkey profile. There is a slight bitterness on my nose, though. 
I don't know if it's from sitting on the shelf or if it's, it, it it's might be because it sat on the shelf for a while. Because let's be honest, I I opened this, we drank it down past the shoulder, and uh, we called it good. And it just kind of sat. sat. Um, what did I say? Oh, that's a lot of cobwebs. I bet this is it. <laughs> There's that mesquite. Now that you beat some air into this thing, you get some of that mesquite. I just want to spit in it. It's so dirty. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm putting this in my mouth. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bud. Yeah, almost immediately, you just think there's something not right with it. I mean, it's sweet, but then immediately just flash in a pan, you know what I mean? It's a flash in the pan, yeah. Um, I do get a little bit of that drying. It's very drying. Um, I, I, I equate that to the, uh, mm -hmm. the Lincoln County process that they use to filter this through the mesquite charcoal. But I don't get a lot of that, that traditional, like, do you remember when we tasted this in the um, the tasting room there at Turkey? Yeah. The first time we ever went there. Before um, we ever started. Before, doing well, this. before COVID hit, it was like three weeks before the COVID lockdown. You know, it's crazy that we're going to refer to that as like a huge thing in the world. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> oh, 2020. Before, do you remember 2020 pre-COVID, like January, February? That was amazing. But, it's the best two months of 2020 <laughs> period. Yeah. But we were at Wild Turkey in January with our buddy Tony and uh, mm -hmm. our buddy Dave. And uh, we tasted this in the tasting room. And I got a lot more of that peppery. That pictures around here somewhere, too. Yeah, it's it's actually over there. I mm -hmm. have to put it back up after we did the remodel. For sure. But um, do you remember it was very peppery? Mm. It's like that, that traditional mesquite wood pepper. You got a lot You got a lot more what what you would imagine, like liquid smoke flavor mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. And I'm not getting any of that here. I think it's just because, it, like you said, it sat there, it oxidized. Mm. Um, so it's Remember, not. They also make deoxidizer for wine. It works on whiskey. Yep. You want to keep your flavors. Yep. Tips. So I, do I think it's bad? No. Do I think it's just straight undrinkable? No. Um, do I think I'll go to this now that I've revisited it and said, you know, oh, Probably this is terrible? Not. Every once in a while, I might pull it up and, and drink it because let's be honest, I mean. I'm gonna look at your shelves and think about this bottle and where it's at right now, and I'm gonna remember that. You're gonna put a uh, one of those little marks, a sharpie mark, you, yeah, a sharpie mark a on it. Or something and cut like it a, just a little. Like notch. a month from now, you're gonna come back, it's still gonna be there. Like, well, see? man, I see that long branch is really doing well. It's doing great, buddy. <laughs> it's doing better than Basil Hayden is. <sighs> We'll get to Basil Hayden on a future episode, everyone, but we all have our uh, opinions on that one. Sugar and spice and not so nice. <laughs> so, for me, Wild Turkey Long Branch, honest, honest opinion, I'm going to recommend people have a pour, but I know it's not super expensive, it's not super limited. I can't even remember and what the price point is. I never it's not gonna, price. It's not going to break the bank. I think it's like $35 around here. It's not going to break the bank. Honestly, that's cheaper than what I thought it was. At $35, $40. Bucks. It, it's not going to break the bank or anything, but I, I would recommend getting a pour of this before you uh, before you go ahead and grab it. Uh, unless you're a big fan of Tennessee whiskey and you like um, you know, mm. those the wood filtration, the Lincoln County process, um, I know they use sugar maple in Tennessee by law, but they put this through um, mesquite charcoal. This isn't Tennessee, though. This isn't Tennessee. It's Texas, baby. It's Kentucky, really. We're going to have to bring this back. Um, We're going to have to have I... Matthew McConaughey on. That's well, all there is to talk about. We'll have to have Matthew McConaughey. Uh, and maybe Matthew a... Holzweig. I mean, just <laughs> maybe, a room full of Matthews. Maybe, maybe a pop culture night when we talk about Matthew McConaughey. But... Um, for now, I think we should bring this back on a whiskey episode and drink it next to um, Old Forester King Ranch. Same like thing. Yeah. Lincoln is County it? process filtered through mesquite charcoal. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. We're but it's only available time. in Texas right now. As of the filming of this video, it's only available in Texas. But, but, I may have one uh, in the works somehow. I have friends. So what we're gonna have to do is open it and let it sit for a few months. <sighs> And then really give it a fair shot. We're gonna have to deoxidize this. Let that open it. Let it sit for four months. 
four years, really. But yeah, is it bad? No. Do I recommend you just go, go out, just buy it? I can't. I mean, go get a pour of it. If you like it, buy yourself a bottle. If not, pass on it. Um, what do you think, Jake? If you're a Matthew McConaughey fan, try it. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore, but... Well, find, try and find a bottle with his signature on it. Yeah. Those will become a rarity. And then if you ever bump into him, be like, hey, man. But as far as actually buying it, I'd say poor, but pass on a purchase because you, you might as well just go buy Jack Daniels. I'm being serious. It's okay. It's not great. I think number seven is cheaper than this, is it not? Uh, yeah, I can yeah. get old number seven at uh, big box stores for like 20 some exactly. dollars. Exactly, so, so it's just as good and the flavor lasts longer. So a brand that was born in 2018 doesn't die in 2023, but it continues on without its uh, co-creator, in Matthew McConaughey, um, you know, it's it's going to be different. Well, the bottle will be different, but uh, you know that's our take on it. Um, anything from you all, put it down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. And until next time, guys. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. Reminding you, keep your bar stocks, your glasses full, and your mind on the pulse of America's national spirit. Peace.